The objective of this lesson is to be able to deal with blanks in our data set when we're talking about dates. So as you can see here, I have a data set with some values and some dates, and I have a chart created from this. And if you see, for example, on the 6th of Jan, I have it in my chart, although here it's a blank cell. So Excel automatically understands this and does the chart, etc. And you can see the same thing for the 13th and the 14th of January. But what if I don't want to see those dates on the chart? What can I do? So I'm going to show you a methodology that is a little bit manual to do this, but it's quick. And then we can do another one that is more comprehensive. So the first thing you need to do is you need to select your columns and then you need to put a filter. So here I'm in data. I click on filter and I have filter. Now, if you come here and you remove the blanks, what will happen is that your chart will become smaller. It will shrink because there is a property in your chart. If you click on it, you can right click format chart area to get this. If you go here, you have move and size with cells. If I say don't move and size with cells and I do this, I remove the blanks. You can see that my chart doesn't change in terms of size. So this is one option you can activate. I have it here. The problem we still have with this is that you still have the 6th of Jan in my chart. And what if I don't want it? So the solution for this is to click on your axis. You go here and then you call it a text axis. Now, Excel automatically understand that it's a date axis. So it's going to take date. But if I transform it to a text, it doesn't know anymore. And as you can see, my 6th of Jan is gone. My 13th and 14th of Jan are gone. And this is how you fix your chart.